Hello, I hope all of you are doing great. In the previous lecture, we understood what are the trends which led to the emergence of the big data. In this lecture, we'll understand some of the basic terminologies in big data so that if you are acquainted with these terminologies, you'll be able to understand the big data really well. Let's get started. Some of the basic terminologies are one is the distributed file system. The second thing is commodity cluster. These are the two important terminologies for us to understand the big data. Let's look at them one by one. What is distributed file system? Distributed file system is nothing but a file system that is distributed on multiple file servers or multiple locations. It allows the applications or programs to access or store the files which are isolated as they are accessing from a local ones. This allows programmers to access files from any network or a computer. If you look at this particular picture, assuming that we are not connected over a network, if I want to access a file within this laptop, then I can just go and click on my folder and I can access that. But since this laptop is connected to these three CPUs and also this particular computer and all of them are connected over a network. In this case, what happens is if you have a file in this particular CPU, whoever is working from this laptop, if they have a permission, they can go and access it. So that is a distributed file system. Now that we understood what is distributed file system, let us try to understand commodity cluster. By the way, what is commodity? Commodity is a basic good used in commerce that is interchangeable with other goods of the same type. Commodity is also, in a sense, can be afforded by a common man. It is not something where companies need to go and buy that. Commodity is something which can be afforded, which can be bought by a common man. The next thing is, what is cluster? Cluster is nothing but a group of things which are similar, which are positioned or occurring closely together. That is what cluster is. Now that we understood commodity and cluster, then what is commodity cluster in terms of computers? Commodity cluster is a group of independent computing systems. You can see it, right? We have some five systems which are integrated by a commodity of the shelf interconnection communication network. In a way, it's a group of independent computing systems which are connected over a network. That is what is commodity cluster is. Traditionally, what used to happen is, let us say, if you want to store the data, companies used to go and buy servers. Servers were expensive like for example minimum ten thousand dollars until fifty thousand like there is no limit on top of that they are expensive and it is difficult to scale i mean the ease of scaling in server was less as compared to the commodity hardware and obviously less flexible also for example if you want to increase the memory of a particular server we need to shell out a lot of money for that that is the reason it is expensive because of that it is very difficult to scale also. And since it is difficult to scale, they are obviously less flexible. On the other hand, commodity clusters are affordable, scalable, and also flexible. Means, as I said, if you want to go and buy a laptop or a desktop, they're definitely affordable as compared to the servers. Assuming that your data is increasing, we can go and buy one more as against the servers. We can go and buy the servers also, but buying the servers and getting the servers is not as easy as buying the computers, the desktops. And also, if something goes wrong, we can take out this and plug in one more thing. They're flexible also. That is the beauty of commodity cluster.